Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. Tells, uh, how did you find out you have social anxiety? I don't have, I don't have social anxiety. I just don't like socializing. I like giving presentations. I like performing. But like in a group hangout environment, I don't talk that much. Like if we're playing a board game, I will talk a lot because I want to win. Like I think if you watch our IRL streams, if we're just hanging out, I won't talk that much. If we're playing board games or have a objective in mind, I'll talk more. Because they can play Hearthstone all day. Hell no. I mean, no. Ten dollar donation from Duck. If you start your own game design company, what would you name it? <laughs> I wonder if my old website is still there. I I had a. I had a a name. Oh no! Oh crap! I forgot to ask for gameplay footage for my card reveal. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I always ah. Uh, I need to do that. Chat, can someone remind me to um let Blizzard know about what cards I want? Because when I do card reveals, I always ask Blizzard for gameplay footage, and I forgot to ask for them this time around. Ooh, stupid toast, stupid, stupid, stupid. Five dollar donation. Toast, you should make a get your own Janet app. Ten out of ten would buy. Three hundred bits from Astro. Yogg is just waiting for the expansion. I think we're all waiting for the expansion, yeah. That is correct. I know what gameplay footage I want for this card. It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be like a ridiculous scenario, but it highlights how dumb, I mean, not dumb, but like what the potential is. It's like for my Madame Goya review video, I Madame Goya on six until a wisp to pull out a Deathwing, right? I mean, is that ever gonna happen in a real game? Probably not. But um, I like highlighting those insane best case scenario. Did Madam Goya get played? No. Tell us when's your card? It's actually in one week. Oh, the other guy. Tell us, are you revealing 400 dust? <laughs> Tell us, what cards have you revealed? Madam Goya was, I think, my first one. Um, Ungaro, I got to reveal. Gameplay footage. So I actually went over to Blizzard's office to record it. Uh, and then I revealed three cards for Cobalt. I actually haven't revealed much because um, 
I came into the Hearthstone scene later than anyone. So I haven't actually done that much. I've leaked cards. I leaked the uh, Auction Master Beardo and Shaku, but that was within reason. It wasn't they gave me a card and leaked it, it's because they were careless and I found out and I leaked it. Which is why Blizzard never gave me too much trouble for that. Because it was under the rules of law. The rules of war. So they didn't hold it against me. They've been very uh, secretive with their websites and new expansion deals. Like in the past, I think I called every single expansion starting with... What's that the League? League of Explorers. Old Gods. I think starting with Old Gods. So old Gods? Yeah, starting with Old Gods because that's when I really ramped up the content creation. Whoops, bad order. Wait, no. Correct order. This isn't dogs. Wait, what did I burn? Oh no, I'm gonna burn a card. And my card is either Aviana or Yogg. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't burn cards if I just draw them. Toast, a yeah, genius. Three dollar donation. As someone who majored in mathematics, what do you think about acts actuarial science? Uh, not much. I know they make a lot of money. Also, the girl I had a crush on was majoring in acts I actual science. So when I hear actual science, I'm thinking, oh, she's an acts I. No, she was an acts I. I'm like, you guys ever have that thought? It's like, oh, if she likes this, and if I'm really good at the thing she likes, maybe she'll uh, be interested in me. I do. That was my way of thinking when I was young. Because that's how you demonstrate value, right? You just beat them at their own expertise or whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god, y'all, you finally killed someone. Good job, buddy. Yeah, there's a lot of gambling sponsors or like skin opening sponsor was like kind of gambly. I've always turned those down because it's like he's sketching me out. I can clone wild girls into sprite, I guess. Salty bed isn't actual bedding, it's bedding with fake currency. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like real bedding. I see a lot of uh, like esports bedding website propping up here and there. What was that one? Unicorn? And I was like, oh, this is. I don't know how to feel about this. Ugh. Ugh. And from my end, I just avoid sponsors like that. Do, 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 do. 
du, du, du. So since you label yourself a variety streamer, would you consider playing horror games? I don't think I'm a, I'm not a variety streamer. I'm a Hearthstone streamer. Like every now and then I'll play something that's not Hearthstone. Especially the last two weeks before an expansion where it's like, ah, this guy's toast. <sighs> 500 bits from V Mars. Hello from UWCS. Shout out to all my University of Waterloo. I actually hate the school. <laughs> if I can be honest, they fucking left me out in the dust with the whole scamming me out of a work semester thing. But their internship program is really nice. And that's the only thing I'm grateful to that school for. Their internship program. F the... B, who was my uh, job coordinator. I don't know. I forgot what her name was. I can probably find out. But F that B. A student comes to you for help and you side with the, with the game sketchy ass game company that went down after a week. Can't make the, P can't make the game company angry. We need them to hire our students. What does Fed have an FDB? What does Fed's FDB stands for? Does it really mean F that B? Oh my god, Fed, great minds do think alike. <laughs> But yeah, F that B. So it stands for Fun Dabbing Boys. FDB stands for Fun Dabbing Boys. Man, I can't wait for Logan Paul to start streaming on Twitch so everyone, everyone in chat can dab on him. And all of his viewers will be like, Yo, I want to dab on the haters like Logan tells us to do. Where can I get that sick and low? And they find out, oh, I got sub to Disguise Toast HS. Hey, That's exactly what I do. To dab on them haters. Ha, this guy's toast. To the donation from hmm, how many internships did you take? Uh, five? Five? I want to say five. I worked on Flash Games, Medical, Mercedes, Zynga. No, four, four, four. I did four. I think we're supposed to do five, but I ended up doing four. Essentially, you're doing this instead of taking, like, at our school, we don't have summer break. There's no such thing as summer break. Your summer break is working at an internship. Do you get paid? Heck yeah, I got paid. And um, programming internship, you always get paid. Like non-paying programming internships are like, because the student quality is high enough that they can be paid. Like if you offered non-paying jobs to programming internships, they're like, why don't you go fuck yourself? 
Why am I swearing so much? But that is what probably you'll get. Unless you're a company like Facebook or Google, but even then, those companies will pay you anyway. Why don't you go eat a bag of dingus? I think offline TV can get a non-paying intern though. <laughs> Just because I'm sure there's a couple of fans out there who would do work for us because they like our content. I mean, I'm not looking to take advantage of nobody, but at the same time, wouldn't surprise me if there was a young man in chat who would be like, I would love that job. I love you, Toast. Boom! Tell us, what did you think about Wilfred Laurier University? So for those who don't know, and I assume most of you, study life science. Is that what white people do? <laughs> do they study life science? <laughs> there was so much Asian people at my school. That sometimes it's easier for the teachers or assistants to just talk in Chinese. Racism? It's not racism. Anyone who's been to the University of Waterloo will attest to that. Because what Waterloo is famous for is finance, like accounting and math. And computer science and software engineering. Alright. Those Amaz went to that school. See? Amaz was in my. Amaz went to the same school at the same year in the same faculty, faculty as me. He was in math class of 2009 at Waterloo. I was 2009 math class of Waterloo as well. Was it hard to get into Waterloo? Uh, no. Because my high school computer science score was high 90s. Although it's not hard because um, high school computer science is a joke. Did you meet him? No. Nope. So, sorry, we entered at 2009. It was class of 2014, my bad. So, uh, what? Did Janet take in Wolf Laurier? I think she learned child development, early childhood research. Those words pokey. I don't know. Tips for a future math major. Really do make sure you like math. And also, can you see yourself doing pure math for the rest of your life? Math is good to lead into other stuff like actual science, which is like insurance and mortgage calculation. But 
Are you okay with just doing math? Like, are you, can you do quick quick maths? If you can't even do quick maths, you want to do hard maths or slow maths? Two plus two is four, and what's minus one? That's three. That is three. Ha, this guy's toast. Five dollar donation. Toast that donated at the start with a question. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh, uh, I've been reading WoW lore and learned very new things. Is there any characters you want to see explored? I like the idea of Titans. The thing I don't like about Titans is just basically Norse mythology, right? Oh, it's Greek. Like, they have a character called Loki, but it's not L-O-K-I, it's L-O-K-E. And a character called Thorim. An O D Y N instead of O D I N. It's like, all right, I get the references, Blizzard, but I'm not gonna fall in love with this. There's one character I want to see, and his name is Kale Thas. He is uh, a love interest of Jaina before Arthas cucked him. <laughs> oh god, that word is so funny. It's like the default word edgy 12 years go to. But yeah, it's, he's a mage character. I would like to see him as an alternative mage, but we already have two dude mages. Shadowy thoughts. I was hoping for a cow paladin. Although the new druid uh, hero doesn't look that bad. Like, it's not a human, right? It's a horse lady. So it's something different. Which I appreciate. If I leave that up, I'm gonna be D E D dead. Unless I get Innovate or Moonfire. Yikes. Because it's called Dryad. I know what it's called. You think everyone else in chat knows what a dryad is? Come on. So, have you heard about the Millennium Prize math problems? Yes. I tried solving them. Obviously, I'm not able to solve. Basically, it's a set of math problems that if you solve, you get a million dollars. Alright, young baby, I just need one damage.
Lights out.